Hey everybody, this is Jacob from Roflow here today to talk about Yellow S. You only look at one sequence. So Yellow S is a new YOLO model, which is based on transformers, which is a really new and exciting breakthrough in YOLO modeling. So uh, I claim in this blog here that Yellow S is potentially the most impactful iteration of the YOLO family of models. And let's dive into exactly why I'm thinking that that is the case. So if you look at YOLO models until this point, so this is YOLO v1, YOLO v2, YOLO v3, YOLO v4, YOLO v5, um, and all the other iterations like scaled YOLO v4 or PP YOLO, all of these YOLO models have a convolutional neural network uh, backbone block. So all of their backbones form features from the images that they process for detections. They form those features with a convolutional neural network backbone. So here in this diagram of the YOLO model, I highlighted uh, the backbone that is used in uh, PP YOLO. But basically all of the backbones look essentially something like this, where you have a series of convolutional neural networks compressing image features and then passing those along to the YOLO neck, which then uh, pools features together and passes along for, for the detection heads. And um, so th this, is, this is what's been going on with all YOLO models uh, until YOLO S. So, what is the difference with Yellow S? So the difference is in transformers. And so for a little background on transformers, you might have already heard about them. Uh, they were introduced by the famous attention is all you need paper um, in the NLP world where uh, transformers have been used to uh, process sequences of text and, and text tokens. Now, transformers uh, completely changed the scene in NLP and they've just started to change the scene in vision now with the introduction of the VIT, which is the vision transformer. So this came out um, about a year ago and uh, was, was proven to show that you can use transformers, the same sort of sequence, input sequence that goes into transformers in NLP. You can use the same transformer block to do image classification. And the way you do that is then rather, using, rather than using text tokens, you just take patches of your image and you make those patches of pixels into uh, pixel sequences. And it turns out it doesn't really matter what the, the architecture is uh, under that. The transformer can learn uh, to model things just as well um, as a CNN would. And that, that was the, the vision transformer. And so the thing that was running uh, in the back of my mind and really the back of pretty much uh, everybody's mind in vision probably was uh, now is this transformer uh, architecture since it's proven to be so general and, and wide sweeping in, in NLP is this translatable to other tasks as well, such as object detection and semantic segmentation? Now we see that it is coming to object detection. So in the yellow S transformer architecture, um, they take the same thing. They do the same thing that the vision transformer did, treating an image like a sequence of pixels and passing those sequence of pix pixels into a transformer encoder. But now this time they generate a sequence of detection representations here in the detection tokens and then they pass that through a few other layers of the network uh, to make uh, class and box predictions. But it's essentially the same thing as, as the vision transformer was for image classification. And so um, that uh, turned out that it actually worked quite well. So jumping forward um, a little bit on the Yellow S eval, um, they got comparable results to some of the other small uh, Yellow models, like uh, the Yellow S uh, TI is comparable to Yellow V4 or Tiny maybe a little bit bigger and a little bit slower inference, but better accuracy. So that, that's a pretty exciting um, thing to see with, with uh, the evolution of, of YOLO models. And so one thing I did want to point out here though, is that this is a YOLO model insofar as, only insofar as it takes, it looks at one pass of the image pixels. So it looks at one pass of the image pixels for that image sequence that the transformer is processing. Um, but other than that, it has no, it has, it shares nothing with previous yellow models. I mean, other than the fact it's an object detection model, but it's a, essentially an entirely new model. Um, so one question you might be asking as you're watching this is, is should I look into yellow? Should I switch maybe some of my architecture, uh, architectures over? Uh, I would say uh, no, not yet. Uh, the performance and, and other um, eval metrics are, are not up to speed with other state-of-the-art uh, yellow models like yellow v5 uh, in the current moment and especially in ease, ease of use um, but uh, i would definitely stay tuned on this front to continue to look at what transformers do in vision and particularly what transformers do in object detection i think those are some interesting things 
uh, to look at out on the horizon. And so as a final thing uh, for this video, I wanted to take a look at the code repository. So I'll link this below. This is the Yellow OS code repository. If you want to start uh, training this on your own data set, you can come to this repo here and you'll see you can find uh, the model architecture. You can find all the PyTorch behind what is going on in this model here in these files on the Yellow OS uh, GitHub repository. And of course, I encourage you to also read the paper and get through all of the um, interesting research results that the Yellow OS authors found. And so um, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video today. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. We come out with content like this at Roflow all the time. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Until then.